Hi, this is Dale Guiducci with ERA Credit Services. And you've been doing some research on how to start a credit repair business. And depending on how far you're into the process, you might be getting a bit overwhelmed by the number of things you have to deal with to get a business started. In this video, I'm gonna talk about 18 things that you have to consider to start your own credit repair business. There's a lot. And since 2012, I've talked to over 2,500 people that have contacted me about this topic, about starting their own credit repair business. And because I've built a credit repair business from home, from my home office that generates nearly a million dollars in revenue every single year, I believe I'm qualified to advise people on the topic. Now, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see videos I've done on this topic, but nothing like this one. In this video, I take 18 things that you have to consider to start your own credit repair business, and I give you a way to either make it a lot easier on you or completely eliminate that thing altogether. Trust me, this is going to be time that is going to be well spent by you uh, if you're serious about starting a credit repair business. Okay, so 18 things you have to consider to start your own credit repair business. You can take notes on this, but if you stay tuned to the end, I'm gonna give you a link so you can get all these 18 things in print and then utilize it as you're considering all of these things moving forward. The first one, surety bonds, right? You know, I mean, that's one of the first things you find out. Uh, that you might need. If your state requires a surety bond, how do you go about it? How expensive is it? It can be expensive depending on your credit score. But what if you didn't need a surety bond no matter what state you were in? How about what territory you can cover with your business? Well, normally speaking, you start your own credit repair business, you register uh, with the state, you get a surety bond if, if necessary. Well, now you can only do business in that state. But what if you could do business in all 50 states. And then, of course, a big topic is software. You got to have software to generate dispute letters, according to all these companies that sell software, right? So that's a lot of research right there. Which one is best, the monthly costs, all of that, that can get expensive and just overwhelming to research it. But what if you didn't even need software? Then you've got a website to consider. You got to have a website if you're in business today, of course, and you can build it yourself or pay someone to do it for you, but you got to deal with all that. But what if you got two websites provided for you for different marketing reasons and they were already built and already centered around your credit repair business? That's huge right there. Uh, online marketing tools. One of the biggest things in marketing today is sales funnels. You probably even on your Facebook page get ads from companies to say, hey, we can build you a sales funnel. We've got pre-built sales funnels, all of that. It's, it works. It's, it's the reason why it's really, really hot, but you would have to develop that yourself or purchase it from somebody. But what if you had a branded sales funnel provided for you for a very nominal cost every single month and you had phone apps uh, that went along with that where you could do your business literally by using your phone as well? Another big point. Merchant services. This is huge, guys. So Merchant services, the ability to take debit and credit cards, you gotta be able to do that. But in the credit repair industry, merchant services companies don't like dealing with credit repair companies because there's a lot of cancellations and, and, and charges that are stopped, of course, because once people get their credit repair fixed, they're not gonna continue to pay you forever. So they don't like dealing with credit repair companies and it's, a, it's an, a, a, an expensive cost for you. So what if you didn't need to go out and find a merchant services company and that was already provided for you? Hmm. Um, what about pulling credit for clients? That's huge. Brokers for the credit bureaus who provide these credit reports, they don't like doing business with credit repair companies either. Go try it. Go try to find a company that's going to provide you with, with uh, credit reports uh, on, on, a, on a regular basis for your clients. First of all, you have to pay for all that, but you have to find someone that's willing to do it. It's very, very difficult. What if you didn't have to do that? What if credit reports were pulled for your clients uh, uh, for you, right? That would be an awesome advantage right there. 
marketing materials, things like brochures, flyers, folders, business cards, marketing videos that are all compliant with Federal Trade Commission and state law. You would have to generate all that. But what if you didn't? What if they were all provided for you? How about the capital? Let's talk about what it costs to get a credit repair business started. Now, I don't have an exact amount. I've talked to a lot of people that have started their own business and they've given me estimates on what it took for them to start a credit repair business, anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000 and more. What if you didn't need to spend $2,500 or $10,000? What if you didn't need to spend any thousands of dollars? What if you could get started in your own credit repair business with everything that I'm talking about here today for less than $300? Big consideration there. What about the time it takes to get your business started? Now, you might be somebody that has a full-time career at a job or another business endeavor, and you're trying to figure out, well, first of all, what kind of time do I need to spend to research, to go through all these you know, hurdles, jump through all these hoops to get my business started, right? It could be weeks, it could be months, uh, depending on your commitment to that job or to that other business. But what if you could get started in a credit repair business today because everything that I'm talking about is provided for you? What about training? What about training on credit repair, credit repair law, the process of credit repair, the probability that items will get removed for somebody depending on what those items are and how old the accounts are and are they open accounts or closed accounts, are they charge offs, all those factors. What about the probability of getting items removed? Where are you gonna get that knowledge? What if it was provided for you free of charge the day you started your credit repair business? Here's another big thing that most people don't think about, business training. It takes a specialized knowledge and expertise to start a business, but also to grow that business into something that's long-term, sustainable, and successful. Well, I can't find anything online, to be honest with you, that shows somebody how to build a successful credit repair business. But what if you could get that training for free? What if you had online tra uh, video training? What if you had online video training uh, what if you had an online video training platform that showed you how to get your business set up? How do you get, how you, <laughs> what if you had an online video training platform that showed you how to get your business set up, get it running, get it moving forward, and you got live training coming to you every single week. And on top of that, you had one-on-one -on -one coaching from somebody that already built a successful business. And they could show you and tell you exactly what they're doing. And it's free to you. That would be awesome. Online client progress reporting. What do I mean by that? Well, in today's credit repair uh, business, in today's credit repair industry, there's companies out there that provide their clients with online reporting of the progress of what's happening with their credit restoration service. So you got to compete against that. So maybe you couldn't even do that if you started your own credit repair business because that takes a lot of technology and expertise and money to make that all happen. But what if it was provided to you and your clients free of charge? Hmm. Now here's one, and, and most people don't ever consider this, but in the credit repair business, of course, what do credit repair companies provide? Credit repair. But what is credit repair? Credit repair, very specifically, is the uh, attempt uh, to delete negative items from people's credit report using the Fair Credit Reporting Act. That's awesome. That's great right there. And if you can help people remove negative items from their credit report, what's going to happen? Their credit score is going to go up. But I'm here to tell you that's not the only thing that can be done to help somebody increase their credit score. In fact, removing negative items from somebody's credit report only impacts their payment history. Payment history only uh, impacts 35% of an overall credit score. What about the other 65%? Isn't there other things that can be done to help somebody increase a credit score? Yes, there is. And can you provide them if you start your own credit repair business? Probably not. Probably not. But what if you could provide 10 other services that help people improve their credit score, monitor their credit score, and protect their credit score, and educate them long-term on how to sustain and build even a higher credit score. That would be awesome right there. 
Customer support, have you thought about it? You get a lot of customers, now you provide the credit repair service and you're trying to go out and market your business and do sales and, and get more clients. But what about these other clients you already sold to? They've got questions. They've got things on their mind. They're calling you and you're at your job. You're at your business. How are you handling customer support? That's a big topic right there because if you don't provide good customer support, you're going to get bad reviews and it's not going to be very good for your business moving forward. But what if you had customer support provided by professionals at it 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday? What if that was provided to you free of charge? Okay, here's another one. Referral sources. Referral sources are huge. And what I mean by referral sources are people that are in credit related industries, real estate, mortgage, banking, auto, solar, other industries where they need clients that have a certain credit score to be able to qualify to do business with them. So in other words, a real estate agent, if they don't have somebody with, let's say, a 620 credit score, depending on the loan program, they have to let that person walk away, don't they? Well, in the credit repair industry, one of the great ways to get business is to go talk to that real estate agent and say, listen, refer that person to me. I can help that person. Of course, I send them back to you and then you can close an escrow and you make a lot of money. So you can get business that way. But the challenge in doing that is a lot of real estate and mortgage people have tried that with credit repair companies and they can never find out what's going on with their clients. Right. And so therefore, you have to consider how can I do that in an automated way? So I'm not calling all these real estate people every month going, hey, your client's doing this and this is what happened with your client and so forth. You're not going to be able to sustain that very long, especially if you have a large number of clients. Well, what if you had an automated reporting process where you could attach each client to that gets referred to you to that real estate agent that referred them to you right so you've got clients coming in from you know joe from keller williams real estate and you could attach that those clients technology wise to that real estate agent and that real estate agent could log in and find out what's going on with their clients 24 7. that would be a great way to market your business to real estate agents and mortgage brokers and it's huge guys trust me uh what about business growth potential well, this is a huge topic, but I'm going to try to uh, break it down really quickly for you. So if you're doing everything, you know, you're doing your own marketing, you're doing your own sales, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're doing the, cr the credit repair delivery. In other words, you are pulling credit, you're analyzing credit reports, you're drafting dispute letters, you're doing customer service, you're doing everything, you're doing everything guess what? Your business is going to be limited because there's only so many hours in a week that you can work, especially if you have a job, especially if you have another business, right? So you've got to consider that. It's going to be limited. But what if you could work in a business model that was unlimited? Because first of all, you have a staff to do all that busy work for you, all that admin work for you, all the customer support after the fact for you. But you also were in a business model that would pay you to go out and find other people that would get into the business as well. And you can expand that business beyond just what you can do because you're getting paid on their production as well. Can you see how you could expand your business throughout your city, throughout your state, throughout the entire country? and get paid on all that predict, pr production, that's how you can build a business way bigger than just what you can do and get paid on business that more than just what you could do. It is huge, guys, and you should open up your mind and consider that. What about experience? If you've never started a credit repair business or maybe never started a business before, you have no experience. That's going to be a pretty big barrier because the only experience you're going to get is trial and error, right? Trial by fire, right? You're going to go out and make a lot of mistakes. What if you didn't need to make those mistakes? What if you were going to be directed to do all the right things in terms of building your credit repair business and you therefore didn't make all those mistakes and didn't need all that experience? So there's the 18 things you need to consider to start a credit repair business. Now, I told you I was gonna give you a link and it should be showing on your screen right now where you could go and get this all in print and take a look. Because I keep saying, well, what if, what if? Well, I want you to understand that the details of the what if, 
like and what what is the business model that we're talking about so that you don't have to go through all these things and you can save a ton of money and you can save a ton of time and you actually can have a better business. You can provide more services, you can uh, give more things to your clients, provide more value to your referral sources and be able to better market your business and save a ton of time so that you can expand your business beyond, again, just what you can do. So type that link into your browser or right below in the description of this video, you can click a link and you can go to that page and you can see all this information. You can print it out, all of that, and you can have that. Now, if you want to find out more details, I'm also going to provide you with a link in the description. And when you go to that page, by the way, on my website that has all this in print, you're going to see another link to my business opportunity page. There's a 20 minute video that breaks all of this down in detail. So all that what if, what if, what if, you're going to understand what is the what if, what is the business model look like that's going to provide you with all of this for an investment for less than $300 and that you can get started today. So I hope this was helpful. Even if you don't come on board working with us, those 18 things are certainly things that you still need to consider whatever business model you choose in the credit repair business. So so I know this was helpful for you. If it, if it was, give me a like, uh, give me a, 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 a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, you're going to get videos coming out from me just about every single week on this topic and more. I do a lot on the credit repair business and credit repair in general. So again, hopefully this was helpful. Have yourself a great day. We'll talk to you all very, very soon. Top is up, top, top, top is up.